You're watching the 11 o'clock news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening and a happy new year. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent today congratulatory cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the second anniversary of pledging allegiance to the Saudi King to assume the reins of governance. His Majesty the King asserted the solid bilateral relations hailing the development march and the consecutive achievements of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, thanks to the wise vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques, which ensured the continuation of advancing development and growth to the kingdom. His Majesty the King also wished the Saudi monarch abundant health and prosperity and to the people of Saudi Arabia for the progress and achievement under his reign. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable today of congratulations to the Sudanese President Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir on his country's Independence Day. He wished President Al Bashir abundant health and happiness and the Sudanese people further progress and prosperity. His Rohan is the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, marking the second anniversary of pledging allegiance to the king to assume the reins of governance. His Rohan has noted the developments and prosperity achieved not only in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, but also on the GCC, Arab, Islamic and international arenas. His Rohan is the Prime Minister, lauded the wise and balanced vision of the Saudi monarch in supporting Arab and Islamic causes, making the pledge allegiance anniversary a significant historic event. His Rohan is the Prime Minister expressed pride in the path of the Bahraini-Saudi relations and their development on all levels under the wise leadership of both nations. His Rohanis uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a telephone call from His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed congratulated His Rohanis the Prime Minister on leaving the hospital in good health after undergoing successful medical checkups. His Rohanis the Premier expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Rohanis the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi for his sincere sentiments, which reflected the deep rooted brotherly relations between the two countries. His Rohanis also wished the UAE leadership and its people further development and prosperity. The two sides also discussed bilateral relations and ways of enhancing them on all levels in order to serve both countries and their citizens. His Rohan is the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent today a cable of congratulations to the Sudanese President Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir on his country's Independence Day. He wished President Al Bashir abundant health and happiness and the Sudanese people further progress and prosperity. His Rohan has also sent a similar cable to the Sudanese First Vice President General Bakri Hassan Saleh and Vice President Hassabo Mohammed Abdurrahman. His Rohan is the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, marking the second anniversary of pledging allegiance to the king to assume the reins of governance. His Rohan is the Crown Prince praised the solid brotherly relations linking the two countries on all levels. His Rohan has also noted the developments and prosperity achieved in the economic, educational, social and cultural fields thanks to the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Rohan is the Crown Prince wished the Saudi monarch abundant health to continue the development march. His Rohan is the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent today a cable of congratulations to the Sudanese President Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir on his country's Independence Day. He wished President Al Bashir abundant health and happiness and the Sudanese people further progress and prosperity. His Rohan has sent similar cables to Sudan's First Vice President General Bakri Hassan Saleh and Vice President Hassabo Mohammed Abdurrahman. Now looking back at 2016, the Kingdom of Bahrain underscored a large number of achievements thanks to the efforts and keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. More in this report with Mohammed Yusuf. The Kingdom of Bahrain concluded yet another year filled with achievements, progress and prosperity to the Kingdom and its people under the wise visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Bahrain continues to be a vital and important part on the Arab and GCC levels. It went on to further strengthen relations with all GCC countries through bolstering cooperation and coordination in all fields and conducting a number of exchange visits which affirm the deep-rooted brotherly relations among the GCC countries. The Kingdom's hosting of the 37th GCC Summit is a proof of the solid relations among the countries. The summit focused on ways to further enhance GCC joint action and strengthen the economic, development and military march of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries.
During the year 2016, His Majesty the King held a number of visits and meetings with other brotherly and friendly countries, which included his visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where he met with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The meeting enhanced the bilateral relations in all fields in a way that met the aspiration of both countries and their people. The Kingdom of Bahrain also pushed its relations towards bigger horizons when His Majesty the King visited the United Kingdom where he held intensive meetings and talks with the Queen Elizabeth II, Prime Minister of UK, Parliament members and senior officials. His Majesty also visited Russia and met with the President Vladimir Putin and the successful visit resulted in the signing of a number of agreements and MOUs in the economic, tourism, cultural and military field in addition to providing investment opportunities and creating partnerships. Under the framework of strengthening relations on the Arab level, His Majesty visited Egypt and met with President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi which also resulted in the signing of a number of agreements. His Majesty King Hamad have always been keen on communicating and focusing on the relations with the people of Bahrain through holding a various number of meetings and receptions and exchanging amicable talks with them. His Majesty stressed the importance of such meetings and visits which affirm the closeness of the people and their loyalty towards their country and also affirm the national unity and coexistence. One of the major events in 2016 was the inauguration of the third session of the fourth legislative term of the representatives and shura councils. His Majesty affirmed that the National Action Charter is a move forward to building a state of institutions and law, preserving rights, protecting freedoms and supporting the democratic march. <laughs> بإيمان وإدراك بأن البناء على ما تحقق هو السبيل لترسيق قواعد الدولة المدنية القائمة على العدالة والمساواة دون إقصاء لأي أحد بسبب أصله أو فكره أو معتقده وسنعمل دوما على رعاية قيم الاعتدال والتسامح والتعايش قولا وفعلا في مجابهة التطرف والتعصب وعلى تعزيز قيم العمل السياسي القائم على مبادئ الميثاق والدستور واحترام سيادة القانون واستقلال القرار الوطني وستظل البحرين منبر خير ومحبة وسلام للعالم من حولها by the end of 2016, Bahrainis affirmed their love and faithfulness towards the kingdom by spreading the joy all over the streets of Bahrain, marking the occasion of the National Day and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, and then followed by the Bahrain First Festival, which gathered more than 35,000 people celebrating this occasion through delivering speeches and live theatrical and musical performances. Looking back at 2016, the people of Bahrain have every right to be proud of what they achieved and the accomplishments achieved by the kingdom, thanks to the wise leadership and the strong unity of the people. This is Muhammad Yusuf reporting for Bahrain International. Thanks to the dedication and tireless efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Kingdom of Bahrain made a number of accomplishments on the local, regional and international levels. More on this report with Hibab Abdel Ghaffar. The Kingdom of Bahrain underscored a tremendous number of achievements thanks to the efforts, keenness and dedication of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. One of the many accomplishments achieved by His Royal Highness in 2016 includes laying the foundation stone to the new building of the Bahrain International Airport, which will accommodate 14 million passengers a year a move to strengthen the economic march of the kingdom, attract tourists and enhance the status of Bahrain globally under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also launched the new identity of Bahrain TV and the National Communication Centre, which affirms his pride and constant support to Bahraini media and press, and their important role in protecting the Kingdom of Bahrain and defending their issues. 
Under the framework of strengthening relations on the Gulf level, His Royal Highness paid a visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Kuwait in order to strengthen bilateral relations and achieve the best interest of both sides. And on the international level, His Royal Highness participated in Second Asia Cooperation Dialogue Summit that was held in Thailand, in participation of a number of government leaders and their delegations. His Royal Highness also received the Britain Parliamentary Delegation and held a dialogue that discussed topics regarding recent political and economic development. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of such visits in maintaining the security and stability of the world. In the year 2016, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister was honoured with a number of international awards. He received the Outstanding Leader Award from the Geneva-based International Federation of Training and Development Organisations in recognition of his dedicated role in achieving development and enhancing the performance of the human capital at the local and international levels. His Royal Highness was also granted the Flame of Peace Award from the Vienna-based Peace Promotion Association, making him the first Arab Premier to receive the prestigious honour in tribute for his outstanding humanitarian role to promote global peace and boost relations between people. The Kingdom of Bahrain is considered one of the first countries to succeed in achieving its development goals, providing education for free, empowering women and achieving equality, as well as enhancing the health sector and improving the level of services. The credit goes to the wise leadership's visions and directives. In addition to the Economic Vision 2030, that proved its capability to strengthen the status of the Kingdom of Bahrain and benefit both present and future generations. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghafour. The Kingdom of Bahrain achieved milestones in various fields and sectors thanks to the efforts and initiatives of His Rohani Sakran Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. More in this report with Shoga Mohammed. The year 2016 was filled with a great number of accomplishments achieved by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He began the year by launching the Manama Capital of Gulf Tourism 2016 and his initiative to renovate and revitalize the Bab al-Bahrain area and the old Manama market under the supervision of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. In March, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince patronized the Bahrain Award for Entrepreneurship, highlighting the importance of creating more job opportunities in order to provide high living standards for the people of Bahrain, which will encourage Bahrainis to be more innovative and creative. In May, His Royal Highness launched a number of projects related to the Information and E-Government Authority and affirmed that these projects aim to provide the best services and achieve further development to different government services. In August, His Royal Highness achieved a huge success alongside the Housing Ministry, where the Ministry succeeded in distributing 3,000 housing units with the goal of providing high-level services to Bahrainis. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry to distribute another 3,200 units during the next phase. September witnessed a milestone in the government's work. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa praised the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to support the government march of progress and said that the government forum 2016 formulates an opportunity to present ideas, share visions and opinions to improve the economic and services outcomes of the government's action. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the importance of holding on to the three vision principles which are sustainability, competitiveness and justice in order to improve the government's work and achieve a better future for the kingdom and its people. This is Shogh Mohammed reporting for Bahrain International. The Interior Ministry said in a statement that a group of terrorists consisting of four to five elements carried out an armed attack by using automatic guns and pistols on the Reform and Rehabilitation Center at Joe at about 5.30 a.m. today, killing policeman Abdus Salam Saif Ahmed. A second policeman sustained moderate injuries while confronting the terrorists. Ten inmates, all convicted in previous terrorist cases, escaped. Interim Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa ordered the formation of a committee to investigate the circumstances of the case. The security authorities immediately carried out the required procedures at the prison and its surrounding, and the public prosecution was notified. The investigation and search were intensified to arrest the terrorists and the escaped convicts, who are Ahmed Mohammed Saleh Al Sheikh. Aged 26.
Ammar Abdullah Isa Abdul Hussein, aged 28. Mohammed Ibrahim Mullah Radhi Tog, aged 26. Hassan Abdullah Isa Abdul Hussein, aged 24. Isa Musa Abdullah Hassan, aged 24. Hussain Atiyah Muhammad Saleh, aged 37. Sadiq Ja'far Salman Hussain, aged 27. Abdul Hussain Jum'a Hassan Ahmed Al Anaisi, aged 31. Rida Abdullah Isa Al Ghasra, aged 29. Hussain Jasim Isa Jasim Al Banna, aged 27. As part of the community partnership with citizens and residents, the Interior Ministry calls upon those with any information about the escaped convicts or the terrorists who assisted them to call 999 or the hotline 8000-8008. All calls will be treated as anonymous, according to the Ministry. The Ministry warned against aiding or abetting escaped prisoners and stressed that Article 255 of the Penal Code law states that any person either personally or through another, provides shelter for a defendant accused in a serious crime or a felony that is punishable by imprisonment or against whom an arrest warrant has been issued or a death sentence or a penalty involving deprivation of liberty has been passed and being aware thereof shall be liable for imprisonment.